All right, so today we are taking a look at uh, the Pendleton Act. This is a, a one that's not really well known. Not a lot of people understand it or, or look at it as being very important, but I think that I'm going to demonstrate that it is. It's, it, it's a big win for the American people. So we have to backtrack a little bit, first of all, and take a look at the spoil system because the government is really kind of run on the spoil system. It basically says that the president can give out federal jobs to anybody that he wants. And typically the way that works is the president is going to give those jobs out to his biggest supporters. Uh, now, what that means is that people who are running for office can often get people to uh, be a little bit more motivated than they might otherwise would have been, right? By offering them or, or maybe suggesting that should they win, uh, should these people work incredibly hard, should they go the extra mile, uh, that there might be a comfortable government job with comfortable government benefits and a pretty good salary. And the, the notoriety that comes with being appointed to some special position by the president of the United States. So that's ultimately what the spoil system is. And uh, everything in the executive branch of government is kind of operating under that, uh, that system, right? So every time there's a new president comes in, he kind of cleans house, get rid of, gets rid of everybody that he can uh, afford to lose, and then replaces them with his people, his supporters. Oftentimes they are yes men. They, they're not going to stand up to him. They're not going to disagree with him because he put them there and they owe him. So it's a way that political candidates can really kind of get the, the desired results from their people that they want and motivate them to work longer, harder hours in an effort to get them elected. <coughs> now, what we're going to see is that that system has been in place since the days of Andrew Jackson. So this has been around for like 50 years at this point. Uh, it's, it's a long running deal. However, uh, the American public sees this system as really one that leads to a lot of corruption. Uh, it's very costly because uh, instead of having people who know what they're doing, you're, they're constantly having to train new people and get them up to speed, and that causes inefficiencies. So we're starting to see the American public really view this as corrupt and inefficient. Uh, and what they would really like to see in its place is a, a system of federal jobs being awarded based on merit. Uh, we don't want you know, the, the best person who voted for you. We don't want the best person who uh, actively worked to get you elected. We want the best people, uh, the most efficient, the most effective, the ones with the best ideas, the ones that uh, are experts in their field. And so uh, the idea here is let's, let's have a system of awarding jobs based on the people who are the best suited for those jobs and, uh, and not worry about who they voted for, not worry about who they uh, maybe supported in the election. So that's kind of the idea, right? Get rid of people who are doing this uh, as an awards type spoil system and replace them with people who are just good at getting the job done that makes government more efficient for the people. So what we'll see is that politicians on both sides, this is a winning, uh, this is a winning argument, right? This is a winning issue. But politicians on both sides don't have the political will to change it because if they change it, they can't use it. Right now, uh, they're able to get politi political operatives to really work a little bit extra, uh, work a little bit harder, go the extra mile, uh, and they would have nothing to offer. They would have no way to kind of control people or, or get what they want out of their personnel if they didn't have jobs to offer. And so uh, even the ones that are on the outside, right, if it's a Republican president, even the Democrats don't want to change the spoil system because they intend to use the spoil system when it's their turn, right? When, when they get elected, then they can use it to their benefit. And so no politician really wants to get rid of this. Now let's fast forward a little bit because what we're going to see is that President uh, Garfield is actually going to be assassinated. He shot, uh, he, he survives the immediate shooting, but dies about 11 days later. Uh, he was shot in the stomach, incredibly painful, becomes infected, uh, winds up not surviving. So uh, we have a president who's assassinated. He often gets forgotten when we talk about presidents who are assassinated. Uh, but he was assassinated by a guy named Charles Guiteau. And Charles Guiteau was somebody who had worked on behalf of the president, not uh, paid by him, but worked hard to get him elected within his area. And he felt like he had done enough that it should garner him some sort of position within the president's administration. Uh, 
uh, not a cabinet level position to be sure, but, but that he was owed something for all of his hard work. So he comes and he meets with the president and the president doesn't know who he is, has no earthly idea who this guy is. And so he does not give him a job. Well, Charles Guiteau gets angry. He leaves. He comes back with a gun and he shoots the president in the stomach. And so now not only do we have this thing that the system that is incredibly corrupt and leads to inefficiencies in government, but we have a system that has now cost the life of a president. President Garfield was assassinated after only about four months in office. And so uh, what we're going to see is that uh, because of that tragedy, right, because of that tragedy, we finally have the national political will to get a new act passed. And this is called the Pendleton Act. And it basically replaces the spoil system with something that requires government jobs, federal jobs to be awarded based on merit. So today, uh, if you went to the post office and you applied for a job or you wanted to work uh, in, in some aspect in government, you have to take what's called the civil service exam. And uh, the civil service exam, based on its scores, it'll tell you what type of jobs you have qualified for. Different types of jobs require different scores on the civil service exam. Uh, and so the, it, what this does is it's an attempt to make sure that the people that we get in office are not just political operatives or people who the president owes a favor, uh, but they're people who are mentally and physically capable of carrying out the duties of that job, merit-based. So uh, there we go. That is the uh, entirety of the Pendleton Act. Unfortunately, it does take a great tragedy to, uh, to see change made sometimes. And we paid a, a high cost in the form of the life of a president in this case. In the end, it's a good bill uh, and it does uh, begin to help. There's still plenty of inefficiencies in government. Don't worry. But uh, for now, that's going to be it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Make sure that you're subscribing. Leave me any comments. I'd love to hear from you uh, and catch our later videos. Thanks.